Hey, this is Mr. Roche. Uh, we are working on our sorting algorithms, and we have some cool sorting algorithms we've made so far. Okay, we have insertion sort, yay, which we just made. Okay, following the, um, you know, the Harvard CS video, which is awesome, and we just did it, and we did it in one little line. So we have this like little class like that. We also made selection sort, which is our first one. We made this kind of like it's bigger. It's got more stuff going on. Um, we made a uh, like a like a private swap routine, right? And we made a private find the lowest. And so we had three sort of components for that. And then we ran the sort right here, calling up you know find the lowest basically to to run that routine. Okay. And then we had sort dot main. Okay. And what we're trying to do actually is maybe clean this up a little bit because I think people like want people to feel comfortable about what we're doing. Okay. So. Let's try to clean this up. Let me see what we got here. Um, basically, what we have is we have this num list here, right? Okay, and um, and we have a case, right? We could actually do something too, like we could we could clean this up by, by making the cases happen someplace else, like in a in a different method, okay? And we can also do this thing like I was suggesting last last um, last um, class was to remove some of the code here because there's some of it's getting redundant okay because what we do is we set up a long right we we run the sorting routine we get the list the sorted list back and then we stop the timing okay and then after that we do the exact same thing every time like see this we do all this stuff and this is like a lot of code okay so one way to do this is that we could we could actually replace this right now with like a like a routine okay so there's a there's a um there's an end time and a start time and if it got past that and if it knew that it was a selection sort right there the rest of this is all the same so i'm going to copy this right now okay um, this is the effort to clean this up okay so i'm going to go like this and just copy this right now copy this whole business right here okay so you can see what i've copied i've copied from the long through the print line okay down to this thing where we're, 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 we're sending it like time in seconds. Okay, great. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, um, a method for this, okay? I'll do it public just because, okay? And what's it got to return, right? It's got to return something. And what we care about is, actually it doesn't have to return anything, just public void. Okay, so it's going to public void, um, you know, report time. Okay, and what does it need to run? Okay, and I'm going to paste this stuff right here. Okay, this is me thinking out loud, but I think this is going to clean things up for us. Report time. Okay, so what it needs is an end time and a start time. Okay, so I'm going to write here end time and start time because I'm going to pass them down to it. End time and start time. Okay, and to run this, we actually need to know what type of data they are. And I believe what they are is they're longs. But I'm going to go back up and check. And a long is just a super long integer. It's one of the, the um, native data, data types, right? So we have long, C, long, long. So I'm going to make these guys long down here too. Okay. I'm going to say long and long. Okay. That's great. Okay. And then I'm going to actually... Uh, pass a string to for like the sorting routine description, okay? So I'll call this like sort, sort name, something like that, okay? Okay, so what's good, what it's going to do is it's going to do what we did before, okay? All right. Um, oh, I have to pass it the num list too, bummer. All right, well, I got to pass it the num list too. Okay, so I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to say int uh, num list. Okay, so now it's got a num list too, because I got I got this error here, right? Okay, so what's going to happen? You pass it start and end time, boom. Okay, you say here's your sorted list. Okay, it's going to print the arrays. That's cool. Okay, it prints the time in nanoseconds because it just does it for us. Okay, we make a com computation to figure out time in seconds, and then we round it doing this cool little computation over here, and that's it. Okay. And all I have to do here is replace selection sort with the, um, I don't know, let's go like plus by quote plus um, sort name, right? 
plus there. Okay, so now I've got this thing that I can call up and use instead of this stuff that I've been like sort of copying. Okay, so what's going to happen here is we're going to go like this. Okay, here's original list, here's insertion sort, nano time n. What I'm going to do right here is instead of doing all this business here, I'm just going to go like this. I'm going to say um, um, this dot, and I might have to make this static, I'm not sure. Um, report time, that will do it for me. Maybe not because it's static. Okay, so I'm going to say report time, time. I'm going to say report time, and I'm going to send it start time. I'm going to send it end time. Okay. I'm going to send it, um, i got to send it the num list, which I'm not happy about. We could figure out a way to do this, but I'm not, I'm not, I can figure out a better way to do this, but, but I'll do this right now. Send it to num list, and then, okay, I'm going to send it um, um, insertion sort. Insertion sort. Um, sort like that. And then I'm going to send it um, the um, the num list. Okay. And boom, it's a call to it. And I think I have to make this, there's going to be a problem with this and that. I can't do this. See so what it does this? Okay. So it goes static reference to non-static method. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change report time to static. See, so it adds the static thing because I have to do this because of um, the fact that this is static. Okay, so static things have to be, like, they have to call other static things. So we'll let that happen, okay? Um, and then what I'm going to do to test this out is I'm going to then comment this whole business out. So I run this, do this. Okay, this is the stuff that, um, that I don't care about anymore. Hey, hey, watch it. Yay. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm making things easier. Okay, and then I'm going to go like this. And then I'll cut out all that stuff there, right? Okay, so if this works, then I, then I can do the same thing for this one, right? Okay, uh, one more thing I want to go back and take out this this sort here because we don't need it. Okay. And let's run it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, errors exist. What's my error? Ooh, lots of errors exist. What's going on over here? Uh, oh, because these guys don't have doubles. Let me uh, let me let me comment this out too. Um the, the, this is wrong because the variables aren't there anymore. So hang on a second. Go like this. But it, it, we're cleaning things up. So in the interest of cleaning things up, then everything is commented out. <laughs> okay, so it's doing it. It's doing insertion sort, doing this stuff here. Um, I think I'm only using a couple of numbers or something. Why am I getting negative time there? That's sort of weird. Let me see. Oh, because I sent it end time and I should have sent it start time. Let's let's swap these. Okay. And then if I run it again, okay, so so it's like just to show you what I did it is I, I'm sending it start time end time, right? I sent it the, the sort name and I sent the num list. So that has to match to what I'm what my call is. See start time end time here. Okay, so I'm doing that doing this okay and it does it that's good okay so then what I can do then is I can I can get rid of this okay boom clean up the code okay let's go back and see what we're gonna do with insertion sort then okay so we don't need any of this anymore either this is like the exact same thing so what we're doing is we're cutting out redundant code which we like okay so this guy is gonna be done and then all I need to do here now is go report time. Okay, and this is um, 
uh, selection sort. No, oh, oh sorry, shoot, I called it selection sort. Right? This should have been called selection sort. And then this is insertion sort. Okay, because then it does the insertion sort. We still have the original list, right? And that's it. And we just don't have enough numbers to really do this. Like, like see, insertion sort really works faster. Look at that dramatic difference here. Okay. But there you go. Okay. And um, that's one way to kind of clean things up, right? So our mean now looks better, okay? And there you go. I'll make another one to get rid of. Um, I want to get rid of this one here with a switch case. We could we could do this too in a in a in a subroutine as well, okay? And we'll try that.